In this lesson, we'll take a look at a way we can use groups to add an extra level of control to our rigs when preparing for animation. Groups allow us to take a collection of objects and store them within one group. And if we'd like, we can even take multiple groups and store them within a single group. The group command can be found at the group menu. Now, what's nice is that with groups, we'll be able to add all of our connections to the group itself, thus allowing us to freely control any objects underneath the group in hierarchy. So let's go ahead and take a look at a way we can work with groups in this demonstration here. What we'll basically have is the character following this plank, and we'll see how we can freely animate the hip control, being that we're going to add a constraint to our group to have the hips follow the plank. So what we'll first do is set up the feet quickly. I've already added a link constraint to them. This is also to show you the power of working with the link constraint and how that can save us plenty of time. So you may want to consider using it in your rigging pipeline. So what I'll go ahead and do is on frame 38, I'll choose link to world so that this control will be able to be freely animated without being controlled by any object. Next, we'll go to frame 39, the frame immediately after, and choose Add Link and Link to the plank directly underneath this foot, so it will now follow along. If we right-click to come out of Add Link mode and scrub, we'll be able to see that. All right, great. So now, we can go ahead and finish off by going to this left foot. On frame 40, we'll choose again Link to World. Immediately after the key on frame 40, or actually 41, we'll choose Add Link and link this to the plank directly underneath the foot. Right click and there we have it. So the feet are finished, but of course the hips are going to stay behind. So let's go ahead and add a group to them. What we'll first do is make sure we're on frame zero so we're at our initial pose. Now we can select our control and go to group and choose the group command. It's going to ask us to give it a name. We'll call this grp underscore hip ctrl for control. 01. Choose OK. Now we can see that its name is bold compared to other objects, letting us know that this is a group. And also, notice this, if we were to go to our schematic view, we can see how the hierarchy looks. So we can see that the hip control is directly underneath this group. But watch this, if we try to just select the hip, it's going to automatically select our group. So in order to select the hip, what we're going to need to do is open this group. With our object selected, if we were to go back to our group menu, we can choose Open, and notice we get this pink selection bracket, letting us know we can select that to choose the group, or select our object now freely. Also, FYI, if you'd ever like to remove an object from a group, you can select the object after you have opened the group and choose Detach, or use Attach to attach objects or connect them to a group. And then if you'd like to, let's say, remove a group altogether, you can use Explode. All right, well, what I'm going to go ahead and do now is select the group and add a link constraint to it. So we'll go to the Assign Controllers rollout, choose Transform, and add the link constraint. We'll choose the right time where we'd like to link this object to the world. So what we'll even do is use our hip control as reference and also the pose to make sure the character will stay balanced. So in about frame 42, we'll go back to our group that has the link constraint and we'll choose link to world. And then on 43, one frame after, we'll go ahead and choose add link and choose one of the planks underneath. Let's say plank 4 or box 4 and right click. So there we have it. We now have our character following this plank. And what's nice is that we can go to our hip. And notice it has clean transforms here, so we can just go in and add any type of constraints or any other type of secondary animation to this. So if we were to turn on Auto Key, let's say at about frame 65, we rotate the hips forward so that the character can look at where this plank or this conveyor belt is leading her. All right, well, that's a quick look at how we can work with groups to, again, add that extra level of control when preparing for the animation process.